the 2018 Jefferson Award Special, sponsored by Genesis Health System and Weber Auto Group. Welcome to our 2018 Jefferson Awards Special. I'm Angie Sharp. The Jefferson Awards are the country's longest standing and most prestigious celebration of public service. Over the next half hour, we're going to introduce you to our eight nominees nominated by you, our viewers. And one of them is in Washington, D.C. right now for the National Jefferson Awards Ceremony. Our great eight are the brains behind and the hearts of some amazing acts of public service in our community. Tonight, we are sharing their hard work and determination with you. We begin with a woman who is fulfilling a promise in honor of someone who made the ultimate sacrifice to our country. This is Monica Evans. Josh Evans and Heath Pickard were friends by chance, family by choice, and so were their wives. We all considered each other brothers and sisters. The two soldiers also trained, deployed, and served together, but only one came home. I remember getting a phone call, it was three o'clock in the morning, and he's like, "Some somebody didn't make it. I can't tell you who, but somebody didn't make it, and I, I knew. So the first thing I did was I called his wife, and I told her I loved her, and that her husband had died a hero, and that everything was gonna be okay, because I was there. Specialist Pickard was killed in action in Iraq on October 16th, 2008. Uh, yeah. It's been nearly a decade and a lot has changed except Monica Evans' promise. In 2015, she started the Pickard Project, a local organization that helps military members and veterans when other organizations can't. Monica's team puts together blessing bags for our homeless veterans here at home, care packages for our men and women serving overseas, and then there's their own missions. Our longest one so far was 13 weeks, and it was to save uh, two veterans from losing and being evicted from their homes. We were able to keep them in their homes. She puts everybody before herself, and just nothing is too small, too big for her. She just settles down and decides how she's going to do it, and she does it. But for Monica, it's the least she can do when she knows others have made the ultimate sacrifice, and she knows it's what Heath would do, too. It's something that I think he would be proud of, and it honors him. Our next Jefferson Awards nominee is on an important mission to help women who want to be mothers but can't. Introducing Jamie Dunker. A picture is worth a thousand words, but this rendition is worth five more. To Jamie Dunker, these five stars represent five of her children, her angel babies. Isabella Sydney, and then I lost twins, and then we lost two more girls. In those seven years, Jamie and her husband were blessed with three rainbow babies, Kaya, Blakely, and Cobain. But she says she will never forget her first. And they told me that my baby wasn't going to make it. And I think you're in that like shock of what do you mean? You know, <laughs> I'm like, and you first I feel bad because I think everybody goes through it. What did I do wrong? You know, where did I mess up? And I had nobody to turn to. And it was one of those like, I just, I shut everybody out. Even then though, Jamie knew this silent struggle needed a loud voice. Mm -hmm. So in 2015, she founded Walk for Baby Feet. The local non for profit does more than just walk walk and raise awareness. It raises money to help people have their own pair of baby feet. Nothing better than pitter patter feet and I feel like that's what I want to give everybody else that can experience by adoption or IVF. In its first two years, Walk for Baby Feet has helped a local family adopt a little boy and helped another pay for in vitro fertilization. Sometimes after losing one child that way, you just shut down and you don't want to talk about it, but she's ready to talk and listen and help others around her. She doesn't want to be known about any of this. Um, she wants to be behind the scenes on all of that, and I think that kind of makes her her own hero in herself. This particular event happens every year on October 15th, Pregnancy and Infant Loss Remembrance Day. At 7 p.m. in every time zone around the world, people remember their angel babies by lighting candles. For Jamie, there's five. But across her community and across the world, there are so many more, more stars. When in doubt, look above, and it's the stars. Walk for Baby Feet will hold its annual event again on October 15th. For more information, you can visit their website, walkforbabyfeet.org. 
Two nominees honored, six to go, including our finalist who flew to Washington, D.C. this week. Coming up, when disaster strikes, he serves the Jefferson Awards nominee who's combining ministry and recovery by bringing help and hope to people during the worst times of their lives. Plus, a lot of kids come in here as misfits. They're too, either too short for, for basketball, too big and round for another sport, and too slow another one. So what we do is we take what they got and we put some value to it. Also up next, the nominee who's training lifelong fighters will introduce you to the coach with a unique training technique that's helping these boxers inside and outside the ring. Our 2018 Jefferson Awards special continues right after this.